evening, everyone. Welcome back to all my lovely pattern people, pattern nerds, pattern. I ran out of pattern puns already, and I'm less than 60 seconds in. This is going well. <laughs> Hello, folks. Welcome to another lovely pattern haul video. We're just going to get right to it. My name is Stephanie Canada. Yes, just like the country. And no, I don't live there. In case this is your first time on my channel, I do all types of fun things with vintage sewing patterns, and tonight's endeavor is going to be sharing them with you. So I got a box full of delicious 1940s and 1950s patterns, and I was going to put a big video together and edit it, and I ran out of time, so I decided just to hop on a live with y'all instead, because why not? Two lives in one week? That feels like something. But anyway, I digress. All right. Ooh, Patternites. That's cute. I like that one. <laughs> Hello, Australia. Oh, I'm so glad you get to watch it live. Huzzah. We love it. And we always love when people are able to join us. Hi, Nerdy Goddess. Hi, Lauren. Tiffany. All right. Looks like we got ourselves a little small, little bit of a smaller crowd tonight, but guess what? Is that going to stop me from diving right in? No, no, it certainly is not. But of course, we have to get our little bit of our rules out of the way. And by rules, I just mean stuff to know as we go along. First up, all of the patterns that you see here, except possibly for some really amazing ones at the end, if you stay all the way with me, are going to be for sale. They are going to be for sale on my website. And because I actually planned ahead this time, let's go ahead and show you said website. So right here, this is my Backroom Finds website. And as you can tell right now, I am having a fall sale where every single thing, including my digital products, the clothing, the fabric, all of it, as long as it is over that $5, it is 20% off. You don't need a code. And it goes until Monday at midnight. And as you can see here, the grade ones are the ones that have already found a new home. So we are finding some new homes for some new patterns, and I love it. And I was able to add a new ebook actually just in time for this sale. It is an amazing 1947 Sue Burnett catalog, and it comes with this cute little bag pattern with the little straps. So it comes actually with all the information of how to make that inside that catalog. But enough of the website. All right, we're gonna go ahead and end that guy. All right, so what we're gonna be doing tonight is going through all the patterns with ye olde pattern cam here. Oh, helps if I had it on the stream, there it is. See, hi, that's where the patterns will be. And if you are interested in any of them, you can always email me or DM me on Instagram. My Instagram is Backroom Finds, and my email right there at the bottom is likethenorthcountry at gmail.com. Now, if you have been part of our lives before and you have played this game already, you know that typically when I do these, I'm able to cut you guys a little bit better of a deal if you buy them unchecked from me. All of these patterns that you'll be seeing tonight, including this little cutie right here, these are actually on consignment from a friend. And so because I'm trying to help her with a little bit of her, you know, panorama leftover shenanigans, aka not really having the jobs we needed, we're going to be checking every pattern this time. So just know that when you're asking me for patterns, that it's going to be a check pattern. So it's going to be more closer to that full price. All right. So that is the information there. All right. I'm going to get rid of the banner and let's get into it. Oh, that's how you get rid of the banner. There it is. All right. <laughs> My son just told me I need to buy some patterns from you. I approve of his message. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Hello. We got some New Zealand friends. Hello. Hello. Hello, Lulu Rush Cosplay. Jen, hello. Patterns are out of your wheelhouse. Well, I promise you they're pretty to look at, if nothing else. And folks, if for some reason this looks a little bit dimmer to me than it did the other night, but if you guys are having issues seeing it with the light, I can kind of fix that. If it is the resolution, make sure you're going down and you are making sure that this stream is going as high as possible, should be 720 to your, can to your computers. Okay, great. Enough of me chatting. Let's talk about patterns. We're just going to start with the McCall because it's adorable. Uh, this is the McCall's transfer. McCall, before they added the S, number 826. And this is an excellent example of what not to do if you find a torn pattern. Don't put tape on it. Okay? 
from your friendly pattern seller. Don't do this. Uh, so a previous owner, clearly taped all the way around the edge. This is a soft baby doll with the layette, which means that you should be able to make the doll and the clothes. And I believe this is probably going to be from the 30s, but I got to pull it out of the camera to find it because it's like tucked for these, for these older ones, they're actually tucked on the flap itself. 1940 on the nose for that one. So cute little, cute little dude. And don't worry, they're not actually going on the floor. They're going in a box on the floor. All right, we're just going to keep going with McCall because it's right here. So here we have a very large doll pattern. Uh, this one is called the Chubby Nina, the Chubby Cheek Doll. She has a name. She's 16 and a half inches tall. It's McCall 1225. Looks like she comes with a couple little outfits and again, a crap load of tape from the previous owner. Excellent. We love, we love, we love, we hate that. Uh, this one is, even though you can see here, this is the exact same stylization. This is actually from 1945. I know this because McCall actually on their flaps from this era, bam, right in there, actually prints the date that they copyrighted this. So that way you can know exactly what year it was produced. That started mm, sometime in the 30s. Before that, it was the patent date, not the copyright date, aka the year it was issued. Just for little tips as we're going along the way. And yes, tape is the worst. That is accurate. Hello, North Carolina. Very blurry. You will want to check your um, resolution for the stream. Unfortunately, like YouTube sometimes knocks it down. Ugh, and I really, I really hate that. I'm trying to find a way around it, but I have not been able to do that yet. So check your resolution first. There's like a little three dots where you can like change the resolution that you're receiving the stream. So I'm terribly sorry. So I'm working on it, but we haven't done enough streams to haven't figured it all out yet. Basically is what I'm saying. <laughs> Hello, Ontario. Hello, Don. All right. Next up, we have McCall. This is 6309. This is a cute little kid's nightgown. Pretty easy, nice yoked pattern. Looks like it just comes in one size. It is a size, as in like one length. It is a size three from 1945 because by then they are printing it right on the back back here. That little itty bitty thing right there that says 1945. Res is up, but still a bit blurry. Mm, grumble, grumble, grumble. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to fix that then. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, anyway, ugh, grumble. One day I'll get better at <laughs> live streaming. <laughs> Uh, okay. Got some questions real quick. I feel like there's archival. Yeah, there is an archival, uh, tape that you can use that actually I do put in the links of my videos, but it's still tape on a pattern. So there are better ways to do it. I'm actually going to get with, uh, the Yates from vintage for me too, to show us how they do it. Tiny bit fuzzy, but the pattern is clear. Yeah, probably. Cause one of them is my camera or like my crappy computer. Uh, did Hurricane Ida affect you up there in Orlando? Not really. I mean, we got some extra thunderstorms, but other than that, we were all good. Although my hearts go out to anyone in New Orleans or heaven's sake, Philly, New Jersey, any of those, like everyone underwater. My goodness. I cannot even. Yike. All right. Well, thanks, friends. Yeah, I'm sorry. I will eventually figure out how to do this gracefully. I promise. We just, we ain't there yet. <laughs> Oh goodness. Okay. We're just going to keep going. It's just, it, it is what it is. If you have also, if you have any questions and you'd like to see any of them more clearly, I am perfectly happy to go ahead and send you an email that like you can email me like, Hey, I think I liked this one, but I couldn't really see always, always happy to send you more photos that are clear and not blurry because live streaming. So that's what I got there. All right. Next up. We have got McCall 6362, which is going to be another 1940s. It looks like 46. The previous owner did actually write on all of these in pencil, at least. So if they're yours and that's the easiest way for you to know their dates, it's not the end of the world as long as the envelope isn't crumbling. But this one has some... Ooh, I hit my microphone. I'm sure that sounded great. Sorry. This one's got some really amazing ruffles and the full button up there. This is a bus size 32 for this lovely dress. And the little pockets have ruffles. Oh, I just, I cannot. It's so cute. 
And it sure is 1946. It's got that nice gourd skirt on the back too. All right. Are you ready? This one's pretty. I like this one a lot. We are looking at McCall 6440. It's a bus size 32. You're going to have, I think this is a faux wrap dress, um, but it does have the gathers at the shoulders. You can either do a rounded neckline or that little like pointier one, which I think is more, way more fun. And then it does actually come across and then it drapes over the left hip a little bit. I'm going to look on the back and we'll see if we can find the date. And well, even on the back, you still can't quite see if it's a full. Ah, no, there it is. So there's the skirt front. There is the right side front. So it could actually, because it says left front. So it could actually be a true wrap, a wrap dress. And I think this is 46. It sure is, but just so pretty. Also just the stylization and those hats. How cool are those? All right. Oh, boo. I'm really sorry, y'all. I don't know why it's being cranky tonight. Maybe there's too many people live streaming on YouTube or in my house. I don't know. So sorry, friends. All right. Next up, we have McCall 6455. You're looking at actually a yoked dress with... It is a shirtwaist, technically, but it has pleat details right here on the skirt that have been stitched down. And then you can see the, the released fullness right at the hip. And you can do the big old bow accent. Whee! Uh, this one is also a bus 32 and it is also from 1946. I figured I'd done enough of these live streams where like I accidentally showed you guys all 1970s patterns that I have already seen most of these because it was a friend of mine and I wanted to actually let y'all see good 1940s and 50s patterns <laughs> instead of like I me mean, just tossing them on the website and not mentioning them at all. Like, so I wanted to take the time and share with you the goodies like this one. Oh, there goes the camera. There, there it is. All right. This one is McCall 6876. Bust 28 and a half, friends. Yay. Uh, it has got a gigantic ruffle collar all the way around this lovely square neckline. And it does have two pockets, a gathered front, and then it actually looks like the back is equally as gathered. So you could do like a little swoosh factor. Swooshy swoosh. And this is from 1947. Now, if you're looking and going, Steph, why is there a sticker on your pattern? That was again placed there by the previous owner. And that actually, most of the time, is a relatively easy fix. And I'm going to have a short coming out next week so that I can show you how I remove those guys safely. So don't worry, that one is coming out soon. Oh, my husband said it was auto set lower, which doesn't make any sense because I make sure mine are set as high as they can. I don't, there are just some things about YouTube I don't understand. <laughs> Oh, someone asked what's on her butt. I'm assuming you mean the pattern. Um, what's on her butt? I don't, I don't know. It just looks like a ruffle to me. Or do you mean this thing on her wrist? That's like a coral bracelet. I'm not sure. It is quite, it's quite a coral bracelet. My goodness. All right. I do a Mad Men theme. Should I just start dressing up like Joan? Because she's the only one that I could actually cosplay because she's the only one that even vaguely looks like me. Yeah, I could do that. Hi, Aaron. Nice to see you. All right. Next up we have, bam, another amazing 1940s vo Vogue McCall pattern. It's McCall 6910. You're looking at the Junior's pattern. Again, it is a bust 29, so it's a size 11. You've got the gathers again at the shoulder. You've got a single button uh, closure there at the top. Some big old pockets. And looks like you might be able to make the belt. You sure can. Yep, belt is right there. And 1947 indeed. Oh, she is. Unfortunately, sometimes with the 40s, like the way the paper was made, it just gets extra um, crispy. So she's, she's a little on the crispy side. 
but the pattern still feels good. So that should be all right to make. What is the largest bust size that I have physically ever seen on a pattern from this era? Uh, it's not been a pattern that I've held in my hand, but it is a pattern that I have seen in a catalog as in the sizes went up to this point. And that is a bust size 54. So they do exist. They're just very, very hard to find. <laughs> same friend, same. <laughs> Christina says she's offended that all of these are juniors patterns because she needs them to be twice the size. And like I said, exact same. I would absolutely, absolutely. Hello, you have not missed much. You missed a few McCall patterns, but you're not too far behind. All right, we are moving forward with more McCall patterns. I realize that shocks hopefully no one by this point. Oh, now the camera's having a moment. All right, hopefully it'll get there. I will tell you what you're looking at, which was McCall 6917. This is again, a junior's pattern. So you're looking at a bust of 29. This one, unlike the last one, I think I got close. There we are, there we go. Okay, so this one has, looks like a full circle skirt. You've got that kind of high neckline and then it looks like there's either a poof sleeve or a little cape uh, flappy, wow, words. Ruffle sleeve, ruffle sleeve. That's, that's what I was looking for. Uh, this one looks again from the mid forties. Let me see. Oh yeah, definitely that full circle. Look at that. Look at that daggone thing. Love it. And we are looking at 1947 from this one. Um, There was a little bit of that. I actually did a whole video about the sizing and patterns and all of that actually really early on in my channel. So if you can handle some slightly gnarly uh, audio, I advise you to go back and watch that one because I actually dug through and found out why we don't see as many, but yeah, Th that's also true. These are, unfortunately this, although we don't have all juniors in this one, but there's a lot of juniors in this one. Flutter sleeve, thank you. That was the word I was going for, thank you. <laughs> oh goodness, clearly I didn't have enough coffee before doing this. All right, next up we have McCall 6939. This is a Mrs. Two-Piece suit dress. And I'm sorry, can we just take a minute? You can see it more in the yellow. Look at that pleated peplum. Holy cow, that is amazing. The skirt's, you know, a nice, good, straight skirt. Really easy. And it looks like this is a bust. So this is a size 12, so it's the bust 30. But just dag on, that peplum alone is a killer. I love it. And this is from 1947. <laughs> Between you and me, Christina, <laughs> we have we have lots of them. <laughs> All right, moving forward. Oh, and and back into a junior's dress here. We are looking at McCall 6945. This is again from 47. It's got a very large yoke right along the top there with a high neckline or slightly like a boat neck here on the blue version. And it looks like she just added some trim in through here just for ac accentuation, but it does look like the front has a full sure section, which they did tend to do. Um, and I'm guessing pockets because there's also like little ruffles on the side here of this lady. Uh, yeah, that's, so you can see there all the options that you are given with this pattern. It's a pretty good amount, actually. I like it. Oh, goodness. I need to stop hitting the microphone tonight. Y'all will run away from me if I keep doing that. Well, if you liked suits, I have another one for you. Check this one out. This princess line suit is just spectacular. This is McCall 7176. You're looking at a Mrs. Two-Piece suit and it is a bust size 34. So we're not giantly, we're not giantly, not a word. We're not going up too much in size at this point. I'm trying to think if I grabbed some of the larger sizes today. I, I think I did. I think they're just in the simplicities. Um, but this is just amazing because it also has this two gore back panel, which is gonna give the back of the skirt more swoosh factor. And it does have that rolled collar like you would have seen from New Look, which this is 48. So this might've been one of the very early ones to be like, hey, hey, Dior, we're gonna borrow that look from you. But I just, oh, this jacket, because the peplum, the way that drapes is just amazing. So pretty, but my goodness, like that. Here, I'm gonna show you on my regular camera. 
so many jacket pieces. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How many panels? I don't know. It's a lot. It is a lot. Uh, let's see if I can back sections. So it looks like the back is six sections and so is the front. So it is a 12 gore princess skirt. My goodness. And actually, yeah, I would think so. Like it should be a lot easier to go ahead and just upsize it. Um, I don't know. I don't know that answer other than possibly just the way it was produced. The question was any idea why they never changed from the crappy tissue paper without going back and asking them, I don't actually know that answer. Um, but I will say I actually prefer vintage tissue paper to the newer tissue paper because I find the vintage tears less easy than the modern ones. So like when I use a modern pattern, like, or if I'm checking a modern pattern, like I have to be extra careful as if I was holding a dry rotted vintage pattern. So just throwing that out there. And thank you, Better Barbie. Yes, please. If you enjoy this, make sure you click that like button. It just allows the stream to go to a couple more places so that more folks can come join us. All right. Oh, we got some skirts coming up. So here we have McCall 7243. Just a really good, uh, oh, it's not even a flat panel. It is a four gore skirt. It does have some saddle stitching right along the front. It is a waist 24 and it's from 1948. But just like a nice, just a good solid 1940s skirt. And then we have yet another skirt pattern that looks almost the same. Uh, this one actually is slightly different in that it looks like you have three gores on the back and two on the front with some type of fly situation. We're going to check the back and see what exactly is happening here. This one is also a waist 24, but you can see this one. If you notice, the envelope is in much, much better shape. So sometimes just the way they were stored or that batch of paper just held up better. Wow. Yeah, it does. It does have that little like weird fly front situation. Hmm. Who would have thunk? Who would think you want a fly pleat in the front of your skirt? That's also very possible. Just like it's an easier cost. I just wonder why over the years they didn't change to something that would work better as opposed to slightly worse. Especially since you went to the multi-line system as opposed to just one size per envelope. But again. Yeah, it does have a much, especially when you reproduce it and you print it out, it does have a much higher cost. Yeah, it's really, it's really interesting to see the changes. It truly is. Uh, I have Simplicity 3919. It's 1960s. It says Slenderette. That normally, unfortunately, means that it was made for larger folks and trying to slenderize the look of them. Um, there's a line of McCall's, which I don't, I don't have any here, uh, but they did sort of the same thing. But on the edge, you just think it's like this weird wave. It's yellow and black. And then if you turn it on its side, you realize it's a very skinny woman with her knee raised. <laughs> like it's, it was a choice. It was a choice that they made. That's, that's what I got for that one. <laughs> All right. So. Next up, very pretty, McCall 8040, bus size 40. I told you I had some of the larger ones here today. So this is going to be a shirtwaist dress with a gourd skirt. It's not terribly flared, so I would just say it's pretty, like it's very slightly flared, maybe A-line at best. And what you have here is a super awesome notched collar that's quite large. You can see it actually better in the blue. That white stitching is the edge. And it's just amazing. This one is from, let me find, oh boy. 1950 is the date on this one. So remember, if y'all do want to claim anything, make sure that you are either Instagram DMing me or make sure you're emailing me at like the North Country so that I can keep tabs of who all wants it because I can't, I can't keep tabs in the chat. All right, moving forward with a very toasty envelope. Hello, welcome. Oh yeah, there's there's some really good Mazoli 
patterns. Uh, Sidetrack, did you guys see that um, the the designer of Mrs. Maisel released through the cos Costume Coalition uh, one of the patterns from season two? It's real pretty. I'm real tempted to buy it. Especially this time they went up to size 34, which was really nice. We, we appreciate the inclusion. Thank you. All right. Moving on. Focusing on the patterns that we have at hand. McCall, 8132. This is going to be a vest pattern, actually. And yes, that vest does have a massive collar. This is going to be a bust size 30. But I really enjoy just how fitted it is. And it does have those little triangular drop downs to, oh, just so good. So good. Makes my, er, you know, like 2008 heart happy when all I could do was wear white shirts and vests. Because yes, I was one of those humans. <laughs> All right. Now we have McCall's, actually with the S now. You're looking at McCall's 3508. This is a bus size. Oh, hang on. Yeah, 32. This is a bus size 32. So you have the Bermuda shorts and the jacket in this. So you can make this entire brown or green outfit. And you can see here on the green just how high-waisted those bad boys are. This looks like it is from the mid-50s as it sure is 1955. You can sort of see here how the diagram is and all of those pattern pieces. My goodness, so cute though. Sorry, my patterns are running away in the box. The box! Oh, I love this one, y'all. It's so pretty. We have, yes, I know the envelope is torched. I can't do anything to help that, but McCall's 4559 which thankfully you can still see the size and it's also printed on there, but this is a bus size 32. You've got a fit and flare or a sheath. And yes, those cutouts right there are actually cutouts that you can do in the pattern itself. And it does have that like boat neckline. This is just, it's just so pretty. It has the instant, which means at one point it would have been all one piece of tissue and you just laid it literally on the fabric and they would have done everything. But yeah, the keyhole neckline, you are correct. That is just brilliant. I love this one. I told y'all, I wanted to make sure I had good patterns for you tonight. Not, I mean, not that the seventies and eighties don't have good ones, but I wanted to, y'all have been so awesome about hanging out with me through all the like, oh, whoops, this is all seventies. I wanted to really say thank you by bringing in some of these. So this is going to be McCall's 8861. It's a shirtwaist dress, but it does have the scallops along the buttons here, a rolled collar, two little tucks right at the shoulders, and it looks like just self cap sleeves, nothing that you have to inset at all, which is always my favorite. And it does have big old pockets with scallop detail. I love this one. It is a bus size 32. And this one is from 1952 for this one. And yeah, the 70s are awesome. I just, I do have a special place in my heart for the 40s and 50s patterns. Probably just because that's where I started long ago, far away. That's that's how what, what I started and that's what I know and that's what I love. All right. I know the scallops on that one are just, like some of these are amazing. Let, speaking of amazing. Hi, Amber. Uh, let, let's just, let's take a moment and enjoy that. That, friends. If you've been on my website recently, know that I actually have another one of these. This is McCall's 9509. And this top right through here is actually completely gathered and then twisted right across the front. And you can also opt to do it with these super ruched up sleeves. This one is a bus size 30. And again, it does have that little sticker right underneath here, but Again, that's a pretty easy removal job, which I will be showing you how to do in a short on Tuesday. And you can see this one, unfortunately, I'll probably have to use the scan from my other one to show you what all that information says, because this envelope is in pretty bad shape. And it is from 1953. But man alive, this is just so pretty. I saw this and my jaw dropped because I was like, wait a minute, I have one of those. So in case that one is missing any pieces, I should be able to trace off the other one and make it complete for you. Hooray. All right. So we've done that stack. Let's do this stack. 
Ooh, you do need to pester me because I vaguely remember that email, but I believe it got buried. So yes, please email me again. Email me again. Thank you. I'll pop my email up here for you while we are changing to the stacks. If you do see anything you want, like the northcountry.com, or you can DM me on Instagram at Backroom Finds. Hey, I don't know why I felt the need to say that, but here we are. <laughs> oh, yay. Glad you're home for it. Huzzah. And yes, a bus 30 is tiny, but there are folks that either can size up from that size or are actually still that size and enjoy finding patterns their size. So I'm not, we're not here to shame anybody for being that size because just because I'm a plus size doesn't mean that I just don't feel the need for that. But I do say that due to the scarcity and just how the patterns were used, that is typically what you find. But I do try to keep my website a good balance. Sometimes it doesn't always work, but I do try. Um, as I have never had to size down a pattern ever, I, I don't know that answer. I know sizing up is a pain in the tuchus. I just did it from a bus size 40 to a 46, and it was still a pain. But uh, So I don't know if it's harder to size down or not. I would assume no, but as I haven't done it, I can't really say. If anyone in the chat has uh, sized down a pattern, please let folks know if it is easier to go... Oh, it depends. Oh, here we go. Up is harder because of the bust volume. Uh, yeah, I would, I would agree. And yeah, it could also just depends on your proportions. All right, let's go ahead and start off with a pattern company we don't see all that often. Duberry. This is Duberry 1166B. I still, for the life of me, don't know why they put the bees. This is a cute little kid's coat, and it is just the coat. As much as I wish it had the hat, it's not. It is just the coat. It is terribly cute. I am a dirty liar. This one has the hat. Oh, that makes this so much better. Sorry, I, I didn't actually realize that when I did it. <laughs> so yeah, this one does. You can make the coat and the matching beret for someone who is a size six, which is a vintage size six, um, size 24 chest, which actually is still relatively close to what my child is now. So you could... <laughs> you could um, go ahead and just use it closer, but I would say this is probably fit like a five-year-old better-ish, but really it's just like regular patterns. Go by the measurements. Measure the kid. Figure that a grown-up version. Absolutely. There are some, but they're, just, they're very, very, very hard to find. All right. And I thought I had another Dewberry. Oh, I do. It's hiding on the bottom. And then we'll do some butter eggs. All right. Deep breath, everyone. DeBerry. This is DeBerry 1658. This is going to be a full Breton and thin gourd skirt. It has got two breast pockets and a Peter Pan collar with that classic late 30s, early 40s puff sleeve that tapers either down to the long or stays short. Uh, this one is also a bus 32. But man, oh man, this is so pretty. Now, normally for Dewberry, they have their like dating right along the bottom here, but that bottom is long gone. And as I don't have the wiki pulled up, we're just going to go with it. This is late 30s, early 40s. Uh, it is adorable. And you can see here on the back of the envelope, just for those that were asking earlier, this one even went up to a bus 38, but just this one is only the 32 because these were issued in one size packets. Year is going to be, I, off the top of my head, uh, the section that tells me that information is gone. So I'm going late 30s, early 40s. But I'm if it's on the Vintage Pattern Wiki, it should also tell you that information. All right. Okay, and that's, I think that's all the dewberries. Dewberries are very hard to come by. So, but we will be moving into some Butterick's now. Here we have got Butterick 5550, which is a bust 32. It has got pin tucks on either side, sort of like a tuxedo shirt, kind of, with a flat panel front, a Peter Pan collar, and a couple pin tucks on either side into a sheet skirt that actually looks like there's a little bit of gathering through here and pockets, because we love pockets. Uh, did I say this is bus 32? If I didn't, that's what it is, bus 32. And this is going to be sometime in the 50s. You can see here written by the previous owner, 50 to 56, 14 equals 32. I, people write things of their own volition. Um, but yeah, so it's called a smartly detailed classic tucked bodice. 
Uh, yeah, it does look like there's a little bit of drape through there, but man, oh, all those bodice pieces just turn out into a glorious sheath dress. All right. I love this one. I know I've said that a lot already, but there are just some in these that you don't see all that often. And this is going to be one of them. This is butter at 5741. This is all skirts. That is all skirts all the time. You can make this type of hostess little peplum situation. You can make a big old, what I'm assuming is probably a tool skirt. You can make this kind of odd wrap skirt situation. Or you can do this kind of like, it looks like a glorified apron if I'm being honest. Um, this is going to be a waist 24, hip of 33, but my goodness, that is so pretty. So you can see here, it they specifically call out that they are over skirts. That's what it says on the back there. So, and I have never in my 11 years of selling seen this one before. So that is pretty rare. The race again is a 24. Nope, they didn't. It's just a matter of which patterns got used most. I do have a video back way, back away, way back, way away. Words. Uh, explaining a little bit more. I know that one really is amazing. But uh, no, they didn't actually all have smaller busts. They were overall slightly smaller, but there were still larger people. But those clothes got used, reused, resized, given to a neighbor, given to a friend, and basically just used until they were shredded little bits of nothingness. Uh, does it say what style the yellow one is? Let me look. They normally don't. If I'm being honest, they normally don't. So the yellow one she's talking about is this one right here. And no, they just call that view B. Tailored version dips lower in the back. That's all they say. <laughs> so I don't think they decided to give it a name. Um, so if anyone can think of a name for it, that would be, that'd be cool. But no, they didn't actually, they normally don't give them names. Um, possibly just so it's easier to find just on the description of it as opposed to Oh, here's this random name we made. But again, just my conjecture. And then we have this cutie. Butterick 7486. You're looking at a waist 24. This is again from the 50s. And as you can see here, it says waist not, in or sorry, blouse not included. And this one has a really nice, slightly higher waistline, but it does have a little bit of a peplum situation in the back, followed by pleats. I'm trying to, oh, I'm not in the, there it is. You can sort of see here. You can see all those lines. Those are the pleats that give the back of your skirt some fullness. But, oh man, so pretty. Skirt flared from the hips. And you can see there how they have the little facings and the extra pieces so that you can whoosh. Nowadays, it's called a mullet dress or skirt. I desperately want that to be real because that's really funny. I sincerely hope that, that is what that is called because that would be amazing. And now I need to go look that up when we're done here because that's really, that's awesome. Business in the front party in the back. <laughs> yeah. High low. I've heard before that one, that one I have heard, but I've never heard mullet and I kind of love it. The dreaded pleats. I know. Right. All right. Moving on. Oh boy. Butter 75. <laughs> lost to time. Not actually lost to time. It tells me on the back too. This one is going to be a nightgown set. It's not actually the penoir, so it's going to be the nightgown that you can belt. You can either do puff sleeves or just a straight yoke all the way across and the house dress. Oh, and it comes with the cigarette pants as well. Isn't that just groovy? You're looking at a bust 36 for this one. And this one is going to be late 50s. We haven't gone fully into the 60s because the price would have still been 35 cents. And you see, yep, nighty brunch coat and lounging outfit is what they decided to call it. And it does have a shorts and a pants view as well. That's great. Uh, the waist on a bus 36 is also a 28 for this time frame. All right. I don't know if I've only found this one once before and I love it. It's always so pretty and it's always waist 24. You're looking at the umbrella skirt. This is Butterick 7701. And the reason it's called the umbrella skirt is they actually named this one. This one is given a name of umbrella skirt. So what it is, is just a crazy amount of gorse. 
Again, relatively easy to size up because all you really have to do is add some more panels if you really want to. But as you can see, it's got six in the front, six in the back to make a full 12 gourd skirt that you can turn into basically an umbrella. You can see here, it is actually, I pulled this one out because it's factory folded too. So I don't have to do a darn thing to it other than say factory folded and move it on out. But you can see here, quick and easy umbrella skirt. So one of the few times they did actually name the skirt that they made. All right. Why are they called cigarette pants? They look like skinny jeans. They sort of are. It's kind of the same thing. Uh, cigarette pants was just a colloquial name. I don't know the exact origin for it, but... Yep. Oh, someone who's made them. Oh, cool. That's awesome. <laughs> circus tent. Yeah, do the red and white. That'd be great. Just twirl around in circus tent style. That'd be awesome. All right. Another Butterick. Another nightgown pattern. Butterick flag in front of him. Hang on. <laughs> Eight, six, four, two. Sorry, when it's all torn off, I forget to look behind it first. So you're looking here, you've got the little bloomers, you've got the short nightgown, you've got the long nightgown also that has a little ruffle down here. And you can also do a long sleeve version as well. And that one is also a bust, sorry, 32 on that one as well. This one's another 1950s, probably like solidly like 55, 56 width. All right, moving on. Mm, gotta get it. Gotta get the giant stack to get make it a little easier. All right, we've moved into the simplicity realm. Um, and in case you haven't noticed, these are all sort of in order because I kind of organized them and then I decided to grab this box full of stuff. So if you want to do the box, let me know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I had some pre-ranged for tonight, basically. I actually planned. Rare, I know. All right, folks, so we're looking at Simplicity 1121. This is a bust size of 30. It's a size 12. It has got the super fitted midriff, and it's got gathers on the skirt all through here to make it a very full gathered skirt. It also goes up into the bodice. It's not really a surplus top. It like does a little bit of a crossover, but not by much. But I do love all the accents they did here where they would like contrast it in the design. So cute. And this one is from the mid fifties. At this point, they would just copyright simplicity. They weren't actually putting the date on. They didn't start putting the dates on, I believe until 64 for simplicity patterns. Basque waist, thank you. Yeah, I love patterns. I don't always remember. Uh, is the midriff boned? That is a good question that I can certainly look. I mean, I would think it should be, but I don't think... They normally don't give you the channels for the pattern pieces, and this one they definitely don't. Um, let's see, sewing notions. Nope, they don't say anything about bones in the sewing notions for that one, where they would list off, you know, the trim, the buttons, all the other stuff to go with it. They didn't list out that. She actually did. I haven't had a chance to watch her video, but she just did. That is correct. Um, absolutely they did. Um, Christina, if you are still in the chat, Hey, there she is. She does. Christina has some really great videos showing you the undergarments and like how to wear them and what one she uses. So go over and check out the air effect when you're done today, because she will absolutely give you an insight into what goes on underneath all the clothing. All right. I'm, I'm the, I'm the pattern, pattern lady. I'm not necessarily the fashion guru person. That's more Christina. That's, that's her, that's her bag, not mine. <laughs> All right. So we've got Simplicity 1380. You were looking at a very high sweetheart neckline. I'm talking like that probably sits like right at collarbone level. Shirt waist, uh, nope, lies, dirty lies, button, full button front. You've got a slight band at the waist that is not the belt. You've got pockets. And it looks like just those nice self, like slightly over the shoulder sleeves, cap sleeves. Ah, oh. cigarette pants came from the fact that when you rolled your own smokes, the shape was similar. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, this one is a bus 33. So you can tell that this was also one of the junior sizes. <laughs> 
Um, oh yeah. I, I love, love Christina. Um, and I did have a small white fluffy dog running around here at the very, like literally a minute before the live started. And then my husband came and helped because fluffy dog wanted all the attention, but she will make an appearance in next week's video. In case you're curious. I, I'm, I realize I have not given you much dog content recently. So I had, need to make sure that dogs show up. Next up, we have Simplicity 1628. This is also another junior size because you can see it has size 11, bust 29. And this one has two ties that go over the shoulder and a full ruffle drop shoulder, as well as pockets and a gathered skirt. Looks like you can actually do that little tie back as well. So cute. Oh, and that one is from uh, mid 40s and like 1945 range. All right, and for the high-waisted short lovers out there, we have got Simplicity 2017, one of the short patterns that I am always asked about uh, because I, I think it just does really fantastic, fantastic shorts. Now, as you can see here, sort of, kind of, not really. It says size 14, which means that the waist is going to be a 26, I believe. I'm going to double check that. Yes, 26 waist. And you have all three different types of shorts. There's like a box pleat. That's not the right word. Anyway, there's three types of shorts. You need to be gathered with a pocket with pockets there, or you can do like the pleated with a little bit of a tuck. This is the one that I see the most on other patterns. So I kind of like that you can do all of these different ones with this pattern. And this is probably 46, 47 range, but I just love, love that pattern. It's so cute. That one was quite crispy. So I'm hoping the pattern is okay. All right, next up, we have got Simplicity 2171, a lovely house coat from the mid 40s. Probably about, it says 47 written here on the envelope from previous owners. It does look to have that fly front, which makes me wonder if it is a full zip front. I will turn over in just a second to find out. And it does have short sleeves or long sleeves. Uh, the hip for those is going to be, oh yes, house coat. Hello, Francis. Um, 26 is a 35, I believe. Hang on. I'll double check. Small is the answer. Yes, 35. Because it goes along with the sizes because a 14 is a bus 32, 26, 35 for that time frame. So they didn't really change it out. Ah, would you like my email just typed out? Sure. Instead of the banner that is that annoying people, I honestly had forgotten it was still there. Let me get rid of that. Uh, da, 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 go away. There you go. I'm sorry. I forgot that was running. My bad. Uh, but yes. We have Danielle and Francis. Hello, ladies. Do, do, do. Type in my email for you, assuming I can type and not put the spaces in which is apparently too difficult for my brain tonight. <laughs> this is so great. Doing great, Stephanie. Excellent work. There you go. There it is. All right. So we have the house coat. We're going to see if it's a zip and then we'll move on. Sorry, didn't mean to make that last. Yes, slide fly closing. So that means this is a zip front bad boy. My goodness. Ah, can't see the banner on the TV. That would be why you asked. Well, there you go. Thank you. I did not know that. Thank you. Is it just Suzanne or Susan? My apologies. I did not mean to pronounce it wrong. I just am not sure how you pronounce it. Fantastic. Sounds good. And yes, plaid would be absolutely delicious in that one. All right, moving on. Uh, cute little peplum dress. It's got a scallop neckline. This is going to be Simplicity 2232. It's another bust 30. Are we surprised? I hope not. Uh, <laughs> this one does look like it has a nice... It's not an A-line. It does have that more flared feel, though. And no extra sleeves, just the scallops along the edge as well. This one is absolutely mid-40s. Yeah, and you can just see the gores here. It shows it much better on the back. That it is actually four gores to get that lovely flare effect. All right, and to the magical, mystical, missing half of an envelope. Yay, I'm glad it's not the top half. <laughs> this is Simplicity 2372. This is going to be the jacket 
and the skirt, which is hard to see because the envelope is torn away. But it is a bus 29, so it's a junior size 11. So I can show you here on the back a little bit better. You can see the bolero. Oh, they actually do call it a bolero suit in this one. Oh, that's because it comes with the blouse. That would be why. There you go. So it actually does have bolero, skirt, and blouse to go along with it. Very cool. And you can see their nice, nice full skirt. Sad envelope, good skirt. But again, it's those situations where just because the envelope is torched doesn't mean the pattern is completely trash. As long as the pattern tissue itself still has a good feel to it, you can still totally trace it and or use it, depending on your preference. All right, moving on. We have got Simplicity 2395. You're looking at a bust size 30 again with that sweetheart neckline. And I believe that's either a ruffle or trim. I don't know, but my goodness. Bye, friend. Thanks for joining us. And hello. Oh, we have new people. Hello, Vintage Thrifter. Hello. All right. So this one is actually going to come. Yeah, I really like this one. This one actually comes with the bolero as well. The full gathered skirt slightly drop down waist. And it looks like whoever made this at some point disagreed with that drop down waist because there's a, there's a little pencil mark that goes straight across it. Like, no, I don't want it. Which, sure, preference. Why not? but it's just very cute. You can see there. So as long as a, cause what that tells me for those that are like looking at patterns and wondering what happened with them. If you see that type of pencil mark on the front, you'll want to check the accompanying pattern piece to make sure they didn't just go snippity snip, snip, snip and cut it off. But instead actually, you know, dropped it down. <laughs> cause yeah. Oh, how nice. My husband plugged in the computer directly to the Wi-Fi, so I should have all the Wi-Fi to hopefully boost the signal a little bit better. <laughs> Take the jacket off when you feel sassy. Absolutely. Can, can she have your... I don't know, Ned. Can we send her our Wi-Fi? I don't, I don't know if it... Jen, you're in Canada, right? Like, I don't know if it'll make it quite that far. <laughs> all right. Moving on. Two... Two, Simplicity, 24, 11. You're looking at a lovely, this, uh, it's either going to be a two-piece dress or a suit. I know those are literally the only two options, but I don't, I don't remember which one it is. But either way, you're going to look at that little peplum suit here with a, it's not quite the Peter Pan collar because it looks like it comes out a little bit farther, but you can also do the boat neck, scoop neck, like halfway in between situation with the flared skirt. And let's see, two-piece dress is the answer. So not as full tailored as the suit would be. Oz, you're in Oz. My bad, Jen. Sorry about that. <laughs> Making me picture the little jacket all studded. Oh, heck yeah. That would be great. I would totally do that. <laughs> all right. And then to go along with undergarments, you can always make your own. This is Simplicity 2423, looking at a bust size 32. And this gives you the option to do a sort of sweetheart neckline, or you can just do the half slip as well. And these are going to be part of that undergarment set that you really want to make sure that you have. So that way everything fits the way it used to look because they had all the undergarments in place. And then... Yeah, it does look like, so it looks like only the sweetheart. There isn't like a straight necked option on this one. Sometimes you'll see ones that are either straight across or they have the little sweetheart scoop. But either way, that one's super cute. And that one is also from, that's like late 40. So like 48, 49 range. Near Kansas by way of Smallville. Cute. Oh, you made that pattern. That's awesome. All right. And now we have Simplicity Fuller here. 2436. There it is. 24, 36. So this is going to be a late 40s. This is actually a maternity pattern. So you're looking at a maternity smock with a gathered back and a slightly gathered front with pockets. And I think it would come with a skirt as well. I'm a dirty liar. I definitely thought that was maternity and it totally is not. Bad, Stephanie. So it is just a smock in two lengths. No skirt. No skirt for you. Yes, I amused myself. We're just we're just going with it. Stay patterns. All right. So I know we're almost out of summer, but summer dress anyone? This is Simplicity 2465. And what you're looking at 
is a full on. Wow, that's not a halter. My words. Where did my words just go? <laughs> anyway, gathered bodice, fitted waist, gathered skirt, and bought bolero. Hmm, good. Excellent. Excellent choices. Does have a single button bolero too. Yeah, I know. I did. I saw that. It's the maternity thing. It threw me off. And now I'm just, I'm just having a moment. <laughs> uh, no, it was not maternity. I turned it over. It was not maternity. It's just a smock. All right. <laughs> um, it does look like you can also, there's trying to show up here that it, you can tie it actually at the bust as well. And back here just kind of gives you a better view up close, probably not on camera. I'm going to move on. Oh, absolutely. If it's a maternity pattern, they absolutely would list it, which is why when I turned it over, I expected to see maternity smock, not just smock. That's how you know you're like, oh, I just assumed things. Whoops. All right. And now we go on to Simplicity 2495. This is going to be a high neckline or a slight drop down with like a modified sweetheart. I love the double bows. That's kind of my favorite. This is a bust 34 with a hip of 37. And you can see here just a nice gentle flare. And it's actually got the the dropped shoulder. So this is going to be all one piece. You don't have to do anything to get those sleeves other than just make the bodice as is. And this is actually the pattern reins. When you see this on the front, when you see it as a bust 34, that's when you know you've actually grabbed the women's line. Not Is it women's? I think it's women's for this time frame. They didn't say. Oh, no, there it is. Women's one piece dress because misses and women sometimes could either come in one envelope or they would actually separate them out. So this was just for women's and the bust on this one. You could have found it as large as a bust 46 at the time. Mine is not. That is a bust 34. Not to be confused. Minnie Mouse bows. Absolutely. All right. Another lovely one from the late 40s. This is Simplicity 2506. You're looking at a bust 30. It does have that lovely fitted waistband with slightly, it like scoops up toward the, the bodice. And it does have a little necktie option, or you can do the boat neck, buttons on the front. And it does look like that flared skirt. I don't see any pockets though, which is sad. No, no pockets, but that will at least be an easy fix. And that one is from 48 for that one. Oh, another stack, another stack. I'm gonna take a drink of water real fast. Hydrate everyone, it's hydration time. We've been doing this for an hour. I feel like now is when I should have Ned come up here and like do something for you all. <laughs> During our hydration break. All right. Now we have Simplicity 2509. Another delicious scallop necked shirtwaist dress. Does have buttons on the top. Again, that same type of scallop along the sleeve. And I know you probably can't see it, but I will tell you it is a bust 38. And this one does have that same type of like gently flared skirt that's totally common for late 40s. And let's see, can you do, you can. Okay, so this big green sash right here, that does come with the pattern. So that would have been included in this. So, and I love that one, even though the envelopes, you know, not the best, but it's very pretty. And yes, wine is absolutely hydration. There's water in there somewhere. Oh, hello. Oh, yay. I'm so glad to make the work in the kitchen a little bit more fun. Yes, and see, we can all agree. Wine is hydration. That totally counts. All right. We have got Simplicity 2635. This is just a nice straight skirt with a jacket, patch pockets, and a Peter Pan collar. Again, they uh, the person before me wrote 48 on the cover. You're looking at a bust 30 for this one. And it is just the two-piece suit. Like it This one does not come with the blouse at all. But it's a nice, lovely, you can see the teens would have stopped at a size 16 for this one. All right. And now we're just going to apparently jump into the 50s. That one snuck in. But hey, I'll show it to you anyway. It is Simplicity 2817. Cute, cute. I think, though, this is a girl's skirt for this one. I will check when we get to the back. It's a waist 24. And it does have the circle skirt, 
straight skirt with patch pockets, or the pleated like flare along the bottom. And yeah, this is a girl's. Absolutely it is. So that means that all the skirts are going to be a little bit shorter than what you would normally have for adult women. Oh, hello, Cherry. Yay, you made it. We're so glad you're here. Sle Can we see a Which one? Close up with the sleeping cap on that lady in blue. Um, sure. Which one was that, Miss Francis? Sleeping. Oh, oh, this one? Ah. All right, I'll show it to you on this screen right here. Well, so there's her little cap. Uh, trying to get a decent... There we go. Sort of see, like, the little sleepy cap, sort of. Hope that helped, Francis. <laughs> what have you missed? So many things, Cherry. No, that just lots of patterns. Go back, catch it at the beginning. Uh, is there a band at the top of this police section? Yes, there sure is. There sure is. That band holds it in place before you have to attach it to the skirt. So hopefully you could attach it to the band and then attach the band to the skirt or band and the, either way. You know what I mean. 2509 are the sleeves grown in. Not 100% sure what you, what you mean. Do you mean like, are they just like self sleeves? What I'm just clarify for me. Clarify that question for me. I'm happy to answer. Just clarify. We'll go on to the next one and then clarify. Okay. Simplicity 2830. I love this one. This is so cute. So you are looking at a bus size 30. This is going to be yet another really nice summer dress. You can either make it with the tiny little string that goes around your neck to vaguely create a halter one. And, or you can go without. It has the little cape though. Look at the cape. I love it. And then it does have, it looks like the, a flat panel front or a pleated. Hmm. I'm going to look at the back, see what's going on. Oh, nope, nope. Just one big giant rectangle. Great. <laughs> so you can probably just adjust it however you want, but that means that there's definitely a, an actual seam at the front for this one. But look at that cape. Oh, so cute. Love that one. Capelets need to come back. Oh, hello, Miss Samantha. Um, agreed. Let's just do that. Let's just make it a thing this fall. Capes are back, period. There is no they need to, period. It's the end of the world. Capitalism is falling. Let's just do it. Screw it. We only have one life. Why not? That was a rant. I apologize. Welcome to my YouTube channel, friends. <laughs> Ask me how I really feel. <laughs> yeah, see, Francis and I have already decided. Capes are back, period, end of story. We have said so. She is a director in opera and she has said so, therefore it will be so. Because she's amazing. Go follow her on all the thingies. Francis, put your put your things in here, friend. Um, for the for those that don't know, I am an opera stage manager. Sorry, quick side tangent. I'm an opera stage manager. Francis is one of my dear friends. We've worked together many, many times. Um, so she is actually real life IRL friend. So she's wonderful. Go follow her. If I make you laugh, she will also probably make you laugh. Especially on TikTok. Uh, Director Francis, I believe, I think is your handle there. All right, we'll move on to the next pattern that I've had standing here for the last like two minutes while I've been yammering. Simplicity 3015. You're looking at a very lovely either, that's pro they're probably deciding that it's a ballerina length. Nope, daytime and evening. No ballerina length here. This is going to be because the little, it's all mucked up here. So the hips of 33 tells me that that is actually a waist of 24 probably. Looking on the back. Yep, waist 24 for that one. It does have a couple different gores, which is actually kind of shocking. I thought they would be less than that. Um, but it, they do have delicious pockets. Um, I think I'm going to officially name pockets that are large enough to actually hold things. Spike pockets. I feel like I saw one person on TikTok make like spike po spite pockets on everything and i feel like that also just needs to be a thing this fall just install spite pockets in literally every garment you own ah evil opera genius there she is that's the one six capes absolutely oh and samantha agreed i love bernadette's cape that's so pretty oh perfect so another see the internet has spoken capes are back period we've we've all collectively Ah, Cape Timber. Nice. <laughs> All right. And again, here we go with larger bust sizes. We are looking at a bust 38 on this Simplicity 3223. And I believe this is just supposed to be 
This isn't a romper, is it? That would be nice. No. So slacks, shorts, and a shirt. But what you see here is actually a really nice sort of like longer shirt with the pockets, or you can do the shorter one where you tuck it into the very, very adorable pants. And the waist for those that are probably going to ask me is going to be a waist of 32 for these. So this would actually be a pretty good like late 40s high-waisted trouser pant, pot, pant pattern. Too many P's. That's that's what's happening. Uh, yes, they, they truly are. They're just absolutely easiest. Need it smaller? Great. Take a few out. Want some more? Great. Throw some more in. They're brilliant for that. All right, moving on to Simplicity 3226. You're looking at a bust 30 and a collar that rivals the 1970s. Like, y'all, check that out. Holy cow. Can she fly away with that collar? I feel like she could. And it does look like that's actually going to be a bodice and a skirt with that front pleat right along there. And it looks like even the little skirt has little buttons right at the middle. Ain't that cute? And it does come with the bolero. Oh, awesome. Yep, you can see right there. It does show right at the... Well, you can't really see. It does actually button at the front. <laughs> but yeah. Wow, that is adorable. Oh, it's a halter. Oh, they didn't show that. That makes that even cooler. So that's a halter top. So along the back, like this whole thing is your halter and then there's no back connecting, which is why there's a bolero. That's cute. And that one says 1950 right on it. Were there any 38 shirtwaists? I think there have been a few at this point. Uh, you might have to go back and check it out back along there. Uh, but I think there are, and there might be a few more coming. I also know I do have some on my website as well that I've listed. I didn't bring all of them with me. Uh, that one was 1950 on the nose. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Do it, do it. Hint for capes with hoods. Oh, yeah, that's funny. So the hair comb at the very front, if you invented it, brava. Although to be fair, I've been doing that since college and all of my college capes. So like when they come on and they're supposed to be hidden and then the girls were in instructed, you know, pull the thing forward and then flop it back. So that's an old theater trick too. But yes, it's super handy. Super duper handy. All right. And another one that snuck in that's later fifties, but that's all right. We'll show it to you anyway. It is simplicity 3239. This is, she said 58 plus. This feels very cuspy, 59, 60. Um, nice pajama set. You either have a nice long nightgown, the short nighty, and then the skinny pants to go along with it. It's a bus size 36. Helps if I actually show you. There you go. And it, thankfully, even though the flap is missing, the tissue seems like it's in, it's in pretty good shape. So that's all right. But yeah, this is a, just a really nice nightgown pattern along with the pajama pants that everyone loves to start sewing which I've still never made them off of a vintage pattern. I've only ever done like modern, long go far away. Oh, I love this one. This is great for fall. This delicious coat pattern. You're looking at Simplicity 3327. It's a bus size 30. On the front, she wrote 50. Um, yeah, I, th I think I could buy that. It's coming out in 50. 49, somewhere. It's, it's cuspy. It's very cuspy, right? 40s, 50s. Oh, look at you. Nice. Very cool. Um, this jacket, however, does have either the double-breasted option or the single-breasted with the patch pockets and the Peter Pan collar. But I love here how in this plaid version, they show like the 80s pop collar situation. That's super cute. Ah, and it does have the little belt to help make it fit a little bit better. All right. Oh, this one is, this one is super cute. Nice summer outfit. This is one of those separates wardrobes where they tried to pack as much bang for your buck into one pattern. This is Simplicity 4419. You're looking at a bus 32. But this is the teen sizing, which means that the uh, neck to back waist length is going to be a little bit shorter. So that's just to, just to be mindful of when you're buying teen size patterns. It's really easy just to lengthen it though. So don't let that completely throw you. Uh, so this one is a bus size 32. And you are getting with this a skirt, a blouse, a sash, top, shorts. They call it seven days of separates. So basically showing all the possible combinations through here. 
the the over blouse isn't my super favorite, but I do enjoy the shorts and the skirt. And I like this version where it's just the sleeveless. Well, we have someone from Korea. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to Pattern Ex Pattern Extravaganza. All right. Then we have yet another teen size. This is mm, simplicity numbers. 4602. You're looking at a sheath dress with a high rolled collar, a slightly lowered down back. It does look like it ties back there as well, which is super cute. You can do a button off on the sleeve here. You've got some darts and then... There's a whole lot of pen markings, and I'm not really sure why, which is always <sighs> frustrating. You can see there I was trying to tell myself what it was. Oh, no. Did my camera just decide to stop working? That would be exciting. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well. All right. Give me a just a second. I'm going to check out the camera here. I have no idea what happened. I'm just going to take it out of the stream and I'll just show you in front of me then because I, it's still on. It's just not doing a darn thing. Like it shows nothing. Maybe if I, maybe if I just restart it real fast, maybe that'll help. We'll just go here for the meantime. So here you go. So this, whoops, there you go. This is all the pen markings that you can see along here. Not really sure why I'm hoping that doesn't mean that like they threw away the pieces for this. I don't, I don't know. Ooh, I'm very blue now. It's exciting. <laughs> it's a bus size 29. And it does have, ah, the collar and the sleeves are detachable. All right. We, and that's mid 50. So it's like 54, 55 range. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Going to try and add it back in and see if it pays attention. Oh, black screen. That's exciting. Nope. Okay, great. We will just move on with our lives then. Uh, we're, well, we were almost, we we're done with the, my pre plan stack. It's fine. Oh, my husband says I need to wiggle the mouse. Okay. Hang on. We're going to wiggle the mouse real fast. Take a drink of water. How's everyone doing? Chat to each other. Nope. Okay, great. I don't know what's going on. Hi, I have 105 people staring at my wall. Hi, welcome back. My computer, um, <clears throat> the second angle just died. So sorry. <laughs> uh, hello. Welcome. Sorry. Oh, good. There's 109 of you. Fantastic. Love that. Hope you weren't enjoying my wall. Moving on. <laughs> welcome back to Pattern Town. Oh, you can see here, kind of sad. This is Simplicity 4602. And you are looking at this is the one we just did. I should probably stop that. That's a bus size 30. I'm going to, sorry, I got a little flustered when the camera stopped. So we're just going to take a deep breath, take a drink of water, start over. Hi. Uh, all right. Oh, I only lost six people. Great. <laughs> they probably didn't want to chat patterns anyway. It's okay. I understand the niche I have created is extraordinarily tiny. All right. So here, this is a very highly sought after pattern. You're looking at Simplicity 46, 47, 46. And it does come with the blouse with that those fun sleeves and the Bermuda shorts. They just called them shorts, but really they're Bermuda shorts. Let's be real. I It's hard to see. I think it says 30. I'm going to check the pattern though to see exactly what size it is. Because oh, I don't want to tell you the wrong size. But I feel like most of the time, honestly, most of the time when I find these, they're bus 30. <laughs> Let's just be real. Oh, I'm a dirty liar. It's on the flap. So occasionally they put it on the flap. Bus 36. Hey, close enough for like sizing up purposes. 
But yes, that that envelope is um <clears throat> toasty, toasty envelope. Bermuda shorts of doom. You know, I used to think that, and now I live in Florida, and I actually like Bermuda shorts. Who am I? What's happening here? Don't worry, I still still wear black. <laughs> I haven't. They haven't beaten all of the New Yorker out of me yet. All right, moving on. This is Simplicity 4800. Cute, cute, cute. Nice day dress. It is a, it looks like you can do like a half zip at the back, possibly. It's hard to tell how this one closes, but it's a really nice gourd skirt. You do have that slightly lower neckline with the collar and the weird little pasta bow situation. This feels like a 1930s pasta bow all over again, but in 1950s style. Because this is going to be, it looked, she wrote on here 54. Ah, and there are slight gathers right at the front there as well. All right. Oh, I love this one, y'all. Oh, it's so pretty. Simplicity 8471. All right. So, right. Not terribly exciting. Cute. You can sort of see here like, oh, what is that? That. Let me move my big old fingers. Is that. Look at that. It's so pretty. That lovely raised bodice. Ugh. So cute. And this one is a bust 34 and it is a button up bolero. So you could like keep it buttoned to be more, you know, demure. And then bam. Oh, my fingers are in the way. Bam. Crazy raised bodice situation. Oh, it's just so pretty. I I don't wear things like that, but I'm, I'm sure, you know, I've heard lots of people say that they're very nice. I'm sure they are. All right. That was my pre-planned stack. And then, oh, the second camera's away. So now you can't see it. You just hear the god awful noises of plastic on plastic. Sorry about that. We have, here, I'll show you here. Ugh. I, I pulled another bin. So I figured we're only at 117. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's just do the bin, right? Y'all want to see what I have here. Plus, a lot of what was in the thumbnail is in this bin. So let's just go ahead. If y'all get bored, let me know. But I, I sort of like decided to do this bin earlier if you guys were up for it. And I asked earlier and folks were like, yes, do it back when my camera worked, but eh, it's fine. It's fine. Bam. The Butterick. This is so cute with those crazy extra like capelet sleeves. What I find crazy, you can do the short sleeve or the long sleeve. I'm like, at least with the long sleeve, it sort of makes sense. But the short sleeve, I, I don't know what was happening there. It's another shirt waist. They call it a casual one piece dress. You can see there, Bus 36. So that one is super cute. It's very distinct. You want to see the back of that one? Sure. Not terribly exciting, but you can see the capelet sleeve right there. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know. I, I kind of love it. I, I kind of love it. It's weird. It's quirky. It feels correct in this house. We do weird and quirky here. All right. Another amazing, probably mid 40s. Uh, they wrote 30s on here. This is not a 30s pattern. This is New York 713. And it's a blouse set. You can see you can get all of these, like the little ruffle happening here. You've got button ups. Uh, it looks like there is, yeah, you got Jabot happening on the white one here. And this one is a bust 34. Ugh, they're just so cute. And this one actually reminds me of the two giant drawers of New York patterns that I found, oh my goodness, going on two years ago now. So good. I finally got, finally got them all listed two years later. Only took a pandemic to get them all up. There you go. Some upside to this crazy 2020. All right, next up is the Ann Adams cuteness with the flutter sleeve, tucked shoulder, scallop detail, and flared skirt. And that's right, friends, 38. And yes, that does mean the bust size is a 38. Uh, again, there, the person was correct. This is from the 1940s. And yes, even the flutter sleeves have scallops. Like that's kind of the big appeal to this one is there's scallops everywhere. Oh, I know. So, uh, I remember I remember back in the day when it wasn't as bad, but um, I can still get them to you. And the one thing I will say when you're shipping things overseas, they go more by weight limit. So like, from zero ounces to eight ounces, which is sometimes four to five patterns, is the same rate. 
it's all the same thing. So if you want to try and like save up or find some friends that want some, then I can ship it over to you in one big swoop. Because yeah, unfortunately for one pattern, it's it's ridiculous. And so I wish I could change it, but that I, I cannot. I cannot de determine with the USPS. Oh, speaking of quick P PSA for anyone that ships things or anyone buying things for the holiday, October 3rd, they are going to be raising the USPS rates for the holiday increase like we saw last year. There's a whole big chart on it. Um, I'll try and find one and go ahead and post it in my Facebook page, which is Backroom Finds, and I'll try and post it. Uh, it might be a little hard to post it on Instagram, but check the like, check around. So those are going to be going up, just a heads up. And then they're supposed to go back down at the start of the next year. So there you go. Who knows? Moving on. More patterns. This is Simplicity 4888. It's a bus size 30. This is actually a pajama set. So you're getting a two-piece pajama that can either be untucked or tucked in and nice long pants there. And that is from, and she wrote there 43. And I, that feels correct for the 15 cents and the way the pattern envelope is stylized. All right, you ready for a stunner? This one's so pretty. I, even I could wear it, but it's a bus 30. So it's a little hard for me to size up to my size. Look at it. Butterick 5715. The bear top chemise blouse and tunics with gigantic peplums. Now it's not the most stylized one. Like there aren't too many darts. There aren't, there isn't too much flair to it, but it's just, I don't know. I think it's the peplum that does it for me. It's just so pretty. It is just so pretty. I just adore it. Oh, well, Kathy, we're glad you're here. It's okay. You're not late. I'm winning out. You can go back and watch the whole thing. <laughs> um, don't forget, you can email me at like the North country at gmail.com, L I K E, the North country at gmail.com. Or you can DM me on Instagram, that one, uh, backroom finds. And I go by timestamps to make sure that I don't jump around in order. All right. Oh, this one's cute. Too. I found a Hollywood pattern similar to this from the 40s, but I hadn't seen the Simplicity version. So this is Simplicity 4962. You do have that deeper scallop neck, or you can do the little bow and the strap accents there. It is a bust 34 and does have that sheath skirt and a little bow accent at the waist too. Oh, I just love it. And it does have either a cap or a, looks like elbow length sleeve. And this one is from... I would absolutely say 43, 44 range for this one. Well, we're glad you're here. Hello. Hello. I know there were some folks that were like, I'm going to be late. I'm like, I talk really long. And also I put all of my live streams up forever and ever. So when in doubt, you can always go back and watch it at a later time. I can hang out with you while you're sewing. All of these things are options. And now we move into the late forties with another strapless gown. This one actually, it, you do actually have the options for straps on Simplicity 2817. Uh, her guess was from 49. I would say that's probably pretty correct. It is a bust 34. Has that same gathers right through the chest, right through there. And it does come with a little scoop bolero and a flared skirt. I enjoy this one. This one actually feels factory folded. Should we see? We're just going to see. We're going to see. Ugh, come out. Oh yeah, totally factory folded. Yep. Factory folded. And that, friends, is where the envelope, the instructions sat for years before they apparently switched sides at some point. But yep, that is factory folded. Love that. It means all the pattern pieces are there. Nothing's missing. Nothing's cut. It's like you bought the pattern in 1949. For patterns that are single size, is the pattern number different for each size or does the pattern number remain the same? Uh, also did a video on that, but the short answer is the pattern numbers, like the size numbers do change through the years. That's why I always say, if you're buying patterns, buy them off of the bus size. Don't go off of sizes. Sizes mean nothing. Sizes are garbage. Go off your bus size. All right. Okay. We've got another delicious junior's dress. This one is a bust 29. This is McCall. This is another one from the thumbnail, 7175. But check out the gathers, like that huge, slightly gathered, like, it's almost like an apron, really. 
That's really what it feels like. But it also has the really nice collar, the little cap sleeves, and the flared skirt to go along with it. It's just, it's quite, it's like weirdly pretty. It's like an extra apron pretty. Like, sizes are arbitrary. Absolutely. Absolutely they are. All right. So what's funny is I was going to keep this and trace it and try and go up to my size. And then I realized I have the size larger of the older version of it. So I'm, I'm going to make sure it comes out to the land of the selling. This is McCall. Oh, there we go. This is McCall 4546. This is a bust 36. And you can see through there with that crossover yoke. I just... For me, it's the best way to get that like diagonal bodice without having to give up the fact that I can wear a bra with bra straps. <laughs> so like, uh, it's just so pretty. But yeah, you can see here, right there is the size, size 18, bust 36. That's why I say it's just, it's just sort of how it is. Oh, oh, I understand your question now. Okay, in that case, no. So like, if you were to go find this in a bust 38, it would still be McCall 4546. So I understand what you're asking. Yes. So, you know, for one pattern, they would do the exact same number for all the bust sizes of the singular envelopes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, well, hello. Welcome. Hi. So glad you're here. All right. Whew. One more water break, because goodness. But you're going to like this next one, I promise. So it's worth it. So... So what we have, that was a terror. No, don't do that. Stephanie, bad, Stephanie, bad, 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 bad accent. All right. We have New York one, one, wait, seven, one, 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 five, four, one, one, five, four. No, you're not seeing things that does say bust 42. It does have a sort of Cape yoke situation in one version and the other one it actually wraps over you can do the fitted sleeves or the capelet sleeves this is just so 1930s i can't even describe it it's so pretty and for those that were asking um on the back of this pattern it does say that this version actually would have gone up to a bust 46 however this one is only the bust 42 which does have a hip of 45 oh really why why would they do that? Boo. Don't change the pattern numbers just because the sizes are changing. Oh, well. <laughs> you know how to claim it, Jen. You know. You know where to find me. All right. Now my favorite Vogue special design from the thumbnail. S4915. You're looking at a size 12, so that means it is that bust 30. But it does have the lovely pussy bow accent. Bow accent. It does have the amazing cuffs that are pointed there. And apparently it also has the slip for it. So you don't even have to worry about making your own or buying a separate slip pattern because it is all included in this pattern. It is so pretty. I'm trying to see. Yeah, just like a really, it's a really nice thin bow there at the top. And that is from 1950. All right. Oh. I love this one and it makes me sad all at the same time. And I'll show you why. This is McCall 5690. This is what happens in Florida. You see that? That's a giant bug hole that they chewed through the dang thing. And all the way through the entire packet. Because that right there, you see that? That's my back wall. <laughs> I hate them. It's a bust 34. It does have the super cute capelet sleeves and the bows. Honestly, I'm going to see if I can trace this out and see what notations are missing. And if any, then I can describe what's missing. But I just, uh, the bugs got her. The bugs. And it is from 1944 for this lovely, very pretty bow slash cape situation. Darn bugs. Leave our patterns alone. All right, the bugs did not get this one though. This is McCall 4097. This is a nice one piece button up dress. You can see the slight gathers on either side there. And the um, choices were made for the gathers at the <clears throat> moment. Yeah, so there's that. But I mean, hey, to each their own. It is the bus size 36 for this one as well. And it does have the two sleeve lengths. 
but I just saw that and I was like, oh, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in my 100 Years of Weird Patterns, but okay, great. We're just going to move on. What size of the previous one? The last two have both been uh, bus size 36s. All right. And now we're going to dive into a skirt pattern that I didn't realize was in here. Is that a blouse too? Sure is. We are looking at advanced 9043. This is absolutely from the mid 50s, strong in the mid 50s. And it's got the sheet skirt and the scoop neck bodice. Uh, what size are you? You're a bust size. You're size 14, which means you're a bust 34 for this lovely, just really nice, good, solid, solid pattern. Oh, yeah, with the, yeah. Cherry, I'm not even, I'm not even allowed to say that on stream, but I'm just going to put that up so other people can enjoy that because <laughs> that's what I was thinking. <laughs> There's a reason I duck out all of my, uh, most of my swear words, because we, we like to stay monetized on this channel. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm, I'm still getting over Cherry's comment in case you were, you missed it. There's her comment. It was brilliant. I'm just going to leave that there for a second because. <laughs> accurate <laughs> things you cannot say cannot say live should i go on twitch next time because i think on twitch you're allowed to say all this crap <laughs> anyway focusing focusing we're looking at simplicity 1598 next and this is going to be a amazing like yoke slash cap sleeve top along with a very lovely like sweetheart at the at the bodice and then you have a gourd skirt down along the bottom you can see there it is a bus size 34 and you can see she, she wrote 45 and i would say that's pretty spot on i do enjoy that one quite a bit all right i'm just gonna make a pile over on the other side since that camera isn't working next up oh if you love a good bow you'll like this one simplicity 3969 you are looking at it is actually a blouse, a skirt, over blouse, and detachable bow. And the skirt is fully pleated. You can see the over blouse is here. The blouse is there. And the detachable bow, which is gigantic, is amazing and right there. And that is a bust 30. Uh, it says 1952 on the front, and I would have to agree with that, actually. <laughs> yeah, me uncensored. First me figuring out Twitch, uh, and then me uncensored. <laughs> Uh, is the back wrapping over for? I would be happy to show you the back. Um, it is not necessarily wrapping. No, not on that one. It's just fitted. Um, I think possibly the over blouse is slightly, but it's hard to see. I think it's just a but a button bottom closure to allow room for your bust to fit through, and then fitted more at the waist. So it's not actually a full wrap. Amber says that Twitch is easy. Well, I mean, if y'all, if you would come watch Twitch streams where I could be actually uncensored and not have to worry about losing my monetization, I would be open to doing that. All right. And if you've seen a reproduction pattern, you've probably seen this one. Simplicity 2345. No, I don't remember the name of the reproduction off the top of my head, but I am planning on roasting it sometime soon because now I have both of them. So this is a bus 30. It's a nice, softly gathered bodice with the puff sleeve with a little tie option there or the scoop neck along the bottom. And that one, yes, that is from 47. Absolutely. Um, I actually think they might've reproduced this one too, but I don't, I don't know. I don't remember if they did. This is going to be simplicity 2277, which is a bus size 30. You're looking at 1948 feels about right for this lovely button up blouse. I do like how full the sleeves are here. And it does have slight pin tucks right on this one as well. That one's, that one's, that's a good staple, I think is what I would call that. The red section was a raglan. Uh, it might have been. It might have been. No way. Nice. I will have questions for you then. Because I have, I have toyed with it. My husband has been going, maybe we should try this. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm not a streamer. I don't have games to play, but I have patterns to show. Does that count? Is that interesting? I mean, maybe. <laughs> Stop rambling. Start talking patterns. This is advanced 4507. I actually kind of adore this one in some like really 
I don't know. It's just some nostalgic way for me that just that you have the drop waist because it does go all the way down to the little ruffle there, the questionable ruffle. Uh, it does have actually a little optional yoke ruffle up here, which they did the yoke on both of them, puff sleeves, and then a like softly pleated skirt there on the back. And this one is a bus 32. And this is probably just by the way the envelope looks, I'm going to go right in the mid forties for this one. <laughs> Stephanie after Howard. <laughs> Like the North Country at gmail.com isn't working. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I will put in my regular uh, email for my, it's like my other business one. It's backroom.finds at gmail.com. Or you can go to my website and just use the contact me. That's odd. I'll have to look into that. Hmm. Grumble, grumble, grumble. <laughs> and yes, they did have all the ruffles on that one. All right. Oh, this one has plastic on it. So, well, that's because it's falling apart. Or, well, some of it's falling apart. All right. So let's show you the part that isn't falling apart. And that is the instructions for Miss Ann Adams. 40, oh, sorry, 4881 is what that is. Very fitted top. Does have the peplum and the slightly flared skirt. That does say 12, which means the bust size is going to be 30 inches. I really enjoy this one because I bet you it comes with these embroideries as an option as well. Let me see real fast. Oh, good. We all know how I love straight pins. Just waiting to jab me in the finger. That's my favorite. Hmm. 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 Well, I don't see them there unless they're inside the crumbling envelope. We may not have the, may not have them. This go around. Darn it. Nope. Rats. No embroidery this go around. Unless it's hiding inside one of those skirts. Which is possible. I have seen it. Oh, okay. We've got... Oh, boy. We've got my, my husband. Yep. That's true. That's true. I did. I hated the idea three years ago. And welcome to the pandemic. <laughs> Life changes. You change your mind about things. Oh, goodness. Um, oh, sure. Oh, <laughs> it's not actually, it's like literally my least favorite thing. Um, I will, I will keep you hosted. Uh, I will definitely look into it. If I didn't realize there were folks that actually wanted to come over, maybe sewing Twitch. Is that a thing? Or should I just do pattern Twitch? I don't know. I've got, it's a whole other thing I'd have to figure out. I'm sure my husband already knows a fair amount about it. So I'll just ask him. All right. Some crispy critters here. Although the bodice I'm hoping is okay. Because goodness, that's pretty. It is Simplicity 2759. You're looking at a bus 34. But look at how cute that peplum is. Right through there. And the big pop collar. Or you can do the slightly like really high uh, sweetheart as well. Uh, that's just so pretty. And it does have the cap sleeve. And that is definitely late 40s. Because of the amazing, amazing peplum. sewing witch <laughs> i'm not but it feels like i should be um next up we have simplicity 4135 nice cute little girls i didn't get too many kids in this one actually if you're looking at size eight this is a tiered dress and this is what i would think of as like a bridesmaid's dress or a flower girl which is, or in this case probably communion but it's still just cute in everyday life. You can either do the slightly boat neck with a puff sleeve, or you can do the Peter Pan with a puff sleeve. And sorry, I'm staring really intently at the envelope. I forget that this one is inverted where the other one wasn't. <laughs> uh, and that one is from the early 50s, so like 51, 52 range. Where can I get the stripe to make it with, though? Oh, sometimes eBay, but you have to be careful on eBay because some of them are damaged or dry rotted. So you have to just be careful. Um, I don't have any stripes right now that look like that. I have some stripe vintage fabric, but none that look like that. Okay. We're just gonna have to show you this one in the plastic bag because um, that is very falling apart. You are looking at McCall's 7019. There we go. Now, if I do that angle, but look at that peplum right here. Holy mercy. That peplum goes almost all the way down to the bottom of the skirt there. Wowzer. And no, it's not 
That is not a keyhole. That is her necklace that's been styled. You can see the peplum is like a high low. So you have the higher in the front and the lower drapey in the back. Uh, give me a second. I'll find the size. It is a bust 34. Uh, and I wish I could say <clears throat> that the <clears throat> tissue was better than the envelope, but it's not. So I'm going to have to open that one up, iron it, and figure out exactly what exactly is going on there because that looks crispy and not like chicken. All right. Oh, I grabbed a stack of kids clothes. Okay, great. So we got some kids things here for you. You're looking at McCall's 3454. This is a super cute jumper blouse and you can also do a suspender skirt. They're calling it a jumper, even though it's definitely just a suspender skirt, but that's okay. But it does come with a little blouse as well with puff sleeves or the longer sleeve options right here. And I believe it's a size three. No, size two for this one. Size two with their little doggo is illustrated. That's a train, not a peplum. I mean, maybe. It doesn't quite hit the floor, which is what I think of when I think of train, but. Oh, you have nice. That's funny. It's all circular, friends. It's all circular. Although, wait, Car Carolina just did a video about that. I think I was half sewing, half listening. So I should probably go back and listen to it again. All right. Now we have another New York. Isn't it cute? 1834. This is a bus. This is a size four. And another, you can see whoever this was really enjoyed their suspender skirts. And you've got the cute little blouse with, again, the puff sleeve or the long sleeve and the crispy critter bottom there. Um, I'm hoping, I'm going to look real fast, hoping that doesn't translate. No, it doesn't, thankfully. All the tissue looks like it was hidden nicely up in the instructions, so it should be perfectly fine. Oh, cute. I guess I did grab a very small kid stack, but look at how cute. This is a little sunsuit and bonnet, so you can make the little bonnet. Oh, adorable. This is that size half, so this would be a six-month size, or actually probably a little closer to like three month size for us now, but just a nice little sunsuit to go romp around in the sun with for the baby. And that is definitely forties, uh, mm, probably mid forties. It's almost like the wartime butterick label. Carolina does spout truth. I enjoy her immensely. I honestly, I watched her video today and I, I didn't realize it had ended because it ended on such a perfect note that I was like, ah, there's more conversation. No, there was not. She ended it right there great if you haven't watched it it's super it's like a 234 it's great it's well timed it's very well crafted all right and here we have this is actually a junior's pattern it is a junior's pajama pattern teenage they're saying at this point and it does have that regular top or the tie top and the bust or chest as i like to call it for this range is a 28 and it has the shorts which you can see up here in yellow or it does have the long pants right through there. And that one is from mid 40s, like 45, 46. Oh my gosh, she found it. 4489 has the mullet peplum. Excellent. <laughs> All right, moving on to a house coat. Look at, look at the house coat with the oversized collar. I love it. And that collar just drape all the way across to the back. That finger, there we go. And it's got two buttons at the waist and it is that nice long length of McCall's. McCall, this is still singular, no S, 7459. And the bus size is 32. Oh, another delicious Junior's dress. I like this one a lot. This is McCall number 7478. It does have that boat neck happening. And this, I believe, is... I'm looking at the back to try and figure out what is happening here. I think this is just a standard one piece dress that they've added. This is actually a belt. Like actually this whole loop situation, that is an extra piece that I'm seeing through there. And it's very, just very nice fit. It does have slight gathers right at the shoulder. And it also of course comes with shoulder pads so that you can help keep the line. Mm, and for those that like to watch your walk away, Simplicity 2917 is going to be that pattern. You're looking at a bust size 30. Nice, like oversized rolled collar, princess lines, and then swooshy back. 
I love it. I love it so much. Oh, it's just so pretty. But you can see here, like you can see very clearly the princess line and then that piece right there is what gets gathered to be that watch her walk away moment. We had a minor, minor child interruption this go around, not dog. This was child. All right. We're well, next up. McCall's 5079. Just a nice blouse pattern. Button up. Good collar. Nice either uh, three quarter sleeves or regular sleeves. Give me just a second. I'll be right back. My daughter decided to leave the door wide open. There we go. Okay. All right. I promise we are at, we are on like the last bit of the stack here. We've got like a couple more, not too many. All right. Moving on to another kid's dress. Great. Cute. You got a, 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 a butter 74, 14, a girl's blouse, waistcoat or vest and flared skirt. Very super cute. You can see right there the old stamp from the Fabric Mart. But I just like all the little details. Nice, just three-piece outfit. And another kid's dress. We have another seven-day wardrobe. Simplicity 4586. So you're looking at size five. Look at how many cute ways that they styled this. Like with the little capelet, with the puff sleeve, with the vest. Just adorable. And that one's definitely like late 50s. Uh, yeah, because you're sitting at a simplicity 50 cents, so that's going to be your late 1950s. All right, 160 sn snuck in here, snuck, sneaked in here, but it's worth it. Because it is McCall's 53-54. Check that collar out. I love how they did the color blocking on it to show the distinct differences. And this band right here, you're not seeing wrong. That is a separate band that you can actually contrast that with. And with the nice fitted waist, I just, it's just a great pattern. You can see there, it is a bus size 34. No, no, kids, kids were fine. Just interruptive. That's all. Kid, singular, one. <laughs> all right. Next up, we will be moving on to... Simplicity 3851. You're looking at a bust 30. This is going to be a full button up dress, either with the Peter Pan collar, or it does have that like cutaway collar through there, sleeveless, and does have that nice full skirt. And I'm looking, and yes, her hand actually is in a pocket because we all love a good pocket. All right. I'm going to show you this quickly only because it's in here. I didn't mean to have this in here, but this is like one of the most standard 1940s pajama patterns that exists. This is Simplicity 2598. It's a bus 32 with a yoked collar, button up top, and a nice little pants. And you can either do a patch pocket with short sleeves or the long sleeves. I did not mean for that to get in there, but it landed in there. This I did mean to have in there though. Vogue 7045. It is a... Uh, awesome cute little crop coat they say not technically a bolero because there is actually a full lining on the inside here this is going to be a bust 30 as you can see the size 12 up there uh, it's just really that's like prime 50s jacket right there all right again another 50s that i did mean to leave in here this is vogue 9385 you're looking at a bust 31 and a half so that is going to be the junior sizing again this time you have a double breasted jacket and they're actually calling this a full suit this go around. You can see actually the collar itself has a removable layer because the cuffs and the collar are detachable and it does have that like sheath skirt with slight wrap and a little bit of a pleat right through there. All right, bam, Simplicity 2065. You're looking at a bust 32. But look at the detail through here, like her fitted waist, the slightly gathered top. I think these are just thin straps, the gathered skirt. And then this right here that she's holding is that same bolero from over here. And that one is going to be late 50s. And I think the cummerbund is actually in there as well. It sure is. So this little blue 
cummerbund that you see right through here, that actually is included with this pattern. Oh, they absolutely are. They really are. But it is also one of like, I've found that one, oh my goodness, so many times, so many times. All right, who likes a good bubble skirt? We do on this channel. This is Simplicity 3015, believe it or not. And this is the junior size. So you have the bust 31 and a half and you have the same like really nice fitted bodice with the thin straps and the bubble skirt or just like the super over gathered skirt. And you can make the stole. So this like sheer piece through here, that's actually included in this pattern as far as like you can make this. It's a rectangle, but they give you the pattern for it. So either way. All right. Oh, hello, post-it note. What are you doing there? You don't belong there. Next up, Simplicity 2227. Super cute little ruffle either right along the collar or right along the peplum. And it does, you can also see here like, oh, there is a little notch there. Ain't that cute? This is again another junior size. So it's a bust 29, but it does have that nice flared, slightly gathered skirt. And I'll show you the back. It is a very, very full skirt. Like... No joking with that one. That finger right there. Super cute. And one more amazing suit pattern. This one's got the tuck shoulder, the slightly gathered. It's it's not so much a peplum as it is like they pleated it almost. They made the matching tucks right through there and the sheath skirt. This is actually a 14 and a half, which means that it is a bust 33. Now, Gonna take a quick dress, quick dress, quick moment for water. Would you like to see the patterns that I am going to trace first before I put them up for sale? Let me know in the chat because if you do, there's like four, like there's like five or six more and they're sort of the best ones. So I feel like it's going to be yes, but I wanted to check first. Mm, all right. Solid. Yes. So we got, yes, obviously. Yes, 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 please. All right. I don't think you're going to be disappointed for waiting the, oh my God, you've all been on here with me for almost two hours. Love you all. Thank you for spending time with me tonight on your Friday. And as your present, I give you the most delicious patterns in the box. Well, after I trace them, must trace them first, because I'm sorry. <laughs> Advance 5333. Look at that detail, y'all. So you've got the gathered yoke. You've got this weird droopy collar. You've got either you can do a flyaway front panel. You can do hip panels. And bus 38. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, I'm gonna trace that. And then I will find a new home, but come on. You just you have to. I will show you the back so you can see a little bit of the intricacy on that one. Like that is going to be, that's not going to be an easy trace at all as far as sizing up, but I feel like it's going to be worth it. Oh, oh yeah. I told you like you're, you're going to, you're going to be glad that you waited. I promise these. I mean, when I decide to trace something that should tell you that it is not normal and it's got something that I really enjoy. Now this one's a little bit more, Easy to find. I'm not exactly sure why I put it in the trace pile other than I think the front bodice section. So this is McCall's 8812. This is from 1952. It's got the rolled collar. It's got that fitted panel in the front and then gathers right at the bust and also gathers on either hip side. And look at this sleeve over here. Oh, hang on. There it is. So there's actually a fitted section and there's a little bit of gather. I just want to trace this basically to see exactly how to do it because wow, so cool. It's just, and look, I'll show you the pattern layout. I should have done that originally, but like, look at that. Like there's your one section, there's your lining, there's the regular sleeve. Like there's just so many. Oh yeah, she's amazing. So like, I love her. I'm sad that I started YouTube after I stopped going to Denver for contracts so that I couldn't actually meet up with her and get coffee at some point. Dang it, Panorama. Killing me, Smalls. 
All right. Well, that's kind of, is that the best one? Hang on. Is that the best one? Ah, no, that's not the best one. Okay, that's not the best one, but this is a good one. Sorry, I had to decide if this was the best one to like, the, the last one actually is the best one. Ta ta ta. Advance 5167. Is that's right, a play suit and a skirt. And it is a bust freaking 40. I love it. And it's got this weird cape situation, collar. I don't know what that is, but I sort of love it. It's back button, so eh, it's going to be a pain in the butt. But but just look at how cute that play suit is. And I live in Florida. It's hot all year round. I could make this in fall colors and still get away with it. <laughs> but yeah, bust 40. I was like, oh no, I will be tracing you, friend. abso freaking lootly All right, this one isn't a super like rare pattern or hard to find, but it's just more, it's a bust 40 and I don't have that many blouses and I have too many skirts and not enough blouses to go with it. So I decided I should probably make this for myself. So this is Simplicity 1554, so 1554. It's just a really good solid 40s pattern. That's really all it is. Uh, the version I want is the yellow one. That's what I want. Give me all the bows. That and I might do the scoop neck with a little cap sleeve. So that one's not like the most mind blowing, but the fact that it's a bust 40, <laughs> less for me to do. Love it. Oh, and then there's the dream of maybe one day I won't live in Florida and I can wear all those amazing winter and fall clothes again, like this, this amazing Ann Adams princess line. Well, it's like a sort of princess line. Not so, it's just an amazing coat and I love it. And it's got a crazy fun sleeve that actually like billows out toward the elbow. And it is also that bus, that size 20, which means it's a bus 38. Oh, I know. I told y'all. I told, I told you this was the, like, these are the best. These are the best ones. <laughs> yeah. A gourd coat. I know. Right. Super easy to size up, except maybe, maybe, well, it's still easy or it's just not as easy as skirts where you can just literally cut and paste. <laughs> All right. Two more friends. And this delicious thing is from the early forties from Mary Martin. And it's going to be cranky and it's not going to want to show, but look at how pretty and you, you can, I'm shoving it in your face so you can hopefully see, and I'm trying to get it off of me. There we go. You can see here how it's fitted through the waist and there's slight gathers, the puff sleeve, the bow, the collar, and the slightly flared skirt. Basically, I love everything about it. It's it's truly beautiful. And if I remember correctly, this is a 40, I think. Hang on. I'm going to I'm going to look. Oh no, right. My bad. It's even easier because it's a bust 42. <laughs> So that means even less for me to do. I love it. Oh, well, hello, Lisa. Hi. We're almost, we're actually on the very last pattern. So head on back and watch the rest of them. See the rest of my, my self goobery about 40s and 50s patterns. <laughs> All right, friends. And as promised, the final pattern in my mind is definitely the best. Which is simplicity. 2456 in a bust size 38 but like look at that square neckline with the collar i'll probably do the version with the collar because it's just it's just kind of crazy cool but look the slightly drop shoulder of the cap, cap sleeve here also is like a fake leg of mutton situation going on with the long sleeve and it does have pockets it's that nice slim line do slim lines look at the best on me? No, but will I wear it? I'm so freaking lootly, I will. But, oh, I just love this mutton sleeve situation. I live in Florida. Will it, Do I wear long sleeves? No. Would I make this? Yes, of course I would. Because, oh, it's just so pretty. Just so pretty. And that, my friends. Oh, that's also from uh, the 30s. And of course, oh, just for fun. Yeah, no directions. So if you happen to have the directions for Simplicity 2456, please email them to me because I'm not that good. I know you would watch that because you told me you would watch a video of me making an unprinted pattern without instructions, but I'd like to make that correctly 
or at least be able to on the long end. <laughs> um, all right, friends. I want to say thank you all so very much for hanging out with me. If you did enjoy today, make sure you're clicking that subscribe button because while I don't normally do two live streams in one week, occasionally it does happen. Um, yes, I will be coming out with a short this coming Tuesday and an actual full video on Friday. It's either going to be a sewing or a pattern theme, but that's pretty much all of my videos. So it's very rare that I throw you other things. Um, and if you do enjoy this, uh, make sure that you're following me on Instagram. I'm Backroom Finds. And if you want to, I'm on TikTok. I do slightly different content there. It's still sewing related. Uh, it's like the North Country, which is like my email, which I will... Sorry, that didn't work tonight. Um, when in doubt, Backroom Finds, you can always email me through there. Backroom.finds at gmail.com. But I want to say thank you all so very much. You all lasted two hours with me. And heavens, y'all are great. You're fantastic. And I love each and every one of your faces, even though I haven't gotten to meet except but like three of you. Anyway, maybe we can fix that in non-panorama times. Huzzah! On that note, friends, I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your Friday evening or Saturday morning or crack of dawn wherever you are. Thanks so much for hanging out, friends. Have a good night. Bye!